Um, I'm going to basically tell you that um, the northeast province, right over here, of Iran, which is known as Khorasan. Does anyone want me to spell it? And you will get it. <laughs> Sometimes you'll see it spelled K-H-O. Don't worry if it is. Okay? It's the same thing. This is the northeast province of Khorasan was <laughs> seminal in the melding of, Ab of Arabs and Iranians under the banner of Islam. In other words, it's the northeast province of Khorasan that's going to give the Arabs and the Iranians of strong Islamic identity. I'm going to tell you why. Khorasan is a border province. Khorasan is a border province and there's a mutual interest. There is a mutual interest in defending the Central Asian borders of Iran there is a mutual interest in defending the Central Asian borders of Iran against steppe nomads. Against steppe nomads like the Turks. Remember the Hephthalites, right? The White Huns, them too. And remember too, remember that in Khorasan, you're very far removed from Mesopotamia which means you need to have Amsar, and I'll explain to you what Amsar are. Do not confuse it with Ansar, which are the helpers of the Prophet Muhammad in Medina. Amsar are Arab forts. These are Arab garrisons. These are garrisons of troops to make sure that the people that they conquer don't rebel. You keep a knife at someone's throat, okay, to make sure they stay within the Arab fold. Now, I'm going to conclude with this. The Arab Muslim takeover of Iran tended to be relatively peaceful. The Arabs were okay with just having the ruling elite go. So the Arab Muslim takeover was relatively peaceful with very little permanent animosity because there wasn't a lot of bloodshed, okay? It was quick, it wasn't super bloody, so there's no need for vengeance. And the Arab Ansar, their forts, will foster the spread of Islam, <clears throat> and the Arab Ansar will be like Roman forts in the Roman Empire. What it's going to do is the Arab soldiers are going to take on the customs of the Persians that they're around, just like Roman legionaries would take on the customs of people in the outlying provinces of Gaul or whatever. Okay? So you're going to see a kind of interplay. While the Iranians will take on an Islamic identity from the Arabs, the Arabs in Iran will take on a Persian identity. And we'll talk about that when I see you next. Now listen up, okay?